or if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in that report, then you can speak to someone for help. Uh, you can call the Samaritans for free at any time. 116123. Uh, we'll have that number and information on the screen throughout the programme at various points this morning. Uh, well, with us now is mental health campaigner Michael Turlin. And uh, Michael, good morning to good morning. you. Good um, morning. You have a very interesting story. You were in a very, very dark place 10 years ago. Tell me what was happening in your life at that point. Um, yes, I was in a very dark place. <clears throat> um, ten years ago, I I started. Um, well, my best friend died. That was one of the first things. He was always there for me to talk to, mm -hmm. which I needed someone because I knew I had something going on in my life before then. So I knew it was like something that was building up in my life. And then my mum died, and I split up from my wife. And um, <clears throat> sorry. And then I lost my job as well. And um, so all those sort of things multiplied together and then I'd sit in my apartment, make up all these weird stories in my head and thinking, and times are by two or three, and actually thinking they was real. Um, but not knowing at the time they wasn't real. Mm. Um, and then it was a case of, uh, I just couldn't cope with it. And it's, what do you do? So I looked at ways I could end my life um, without affecting anybody else. I didn't want to jump off a bridge or jump in front of a train because that wasn't, that would have wrecked so many other people's lives. So I was, I was looking at what ways I could do it. So after those attempts, um, and they didn't work, which thankfully now they didn't, um, I went into, well, I got put into a mental home for a few weeks. Um, but while I was in there, I didn't find that, I kept asking for someone to talk to. They kept saying, we'll be with you, we're with you. But no one turned up. Um, to actually talk to me. Um, so I asked the psychiatrist, can I just get out of here? Um, and eventually I said, I want to be out for my uh, birthday, which is 10 years ago next week. Mm. And they said, um, no, I actually got a week out a week later than that. And um, then I stopped taking my medication. I'm not saying the medication stopping taking it for is for everyone, mm. but, but it, it worked for you. me because I found the medication was actually... Um, it was calming me down, but it wasn't solving the problem. Michael, it's interesting. You talked about talking there. You had a best friend that you lost who you talked to when you were, you know, um, seeking help. You wanted someone to talk to. And you don't shy away from the fact that you tried to take your life on several attempts and talking helped you. And now you're helping others by encouraging them to talk. How are you doing that? Um, well, I have this... Um, I got a tax rebate last year, so that enabled me to... Um, it was quite a, a big tax rebate and I put that with my car I already had, and I saw a Bentley on eBay, and I thought, I'm just the guy that works on a building site, I'm nothing special, sorry. Um, but I knew by buying that, every time I opened my garage door, it would be a wow factor. And so every time I open my garage door now, I smile. And um, since last year, I've started event, uh, going to all car events. So you take the Bentley with you to car events? Yeah, and I have a small Bentley that sits on the bonnet with a little um, teddy bear in there, it's called, uh, Harry, uh, Henry, sorry. And um, all these people come over and look at this banner that I've had made. Uh, it's about two metres by 800 wide. Which tells your story. Which tells my story. And basically it says um, mental health awareness, mm. um, living a dream, and wow, what you don't see from here is how I got here today. And this is interesting, isn't it? Because car events, it's a fun event, it's where families come, it's where couples come uh, to enjoy themselves. So it's a relaxed atmosphere. and you find them opening up to you because they're almost caught unawares in talking about mental health because a lot of people think you need to sit down and have a serious conversation about the state of your mental health, but you're encouraging it to be part of an everyday conversation. And that's what makes it quite amazing for me because if I, I affect so many people when I'm at these events that and they are caught unaware because they're not expecting it. And so many people tell me their stories, whether it's their son has committed suicide last year or it's their wife is committed suicide last year or they've wife set themselves alight or whatever it is they've all done these and they they open up and say or even like a 17 year old kid at Blair Palace last week two weeks ago said he tried to uh, he's looked at suicide and that sort of stuff oh, well Michael you're helping them and by the sounds of it they are helping you thank oh, you God, so yes. much for coming in to talk to us uh, about mental health awareness um, you're very brave to speak out thank and you. as I said it sounds like it's helping a lot of people so thank you uh, well, you know, that Samaritan's number is there 
as and when you need it. Um, the uh, number is free. It's 116 123. Uh, as I said, we will be uh, putting that up on the screen throughout the programme this morning.